Okay, so my channel recently hit 20,000 subscribers and I wanted to celebrate in some type of way and I thought doing a Q&A might be good for me <laughs> for a few different reasons. I don't particularly want to do a Q&A but I feel like that's a reason to do it because it will challenge me and I'll do something different and I might learn something new from doing it. But I'm like, I'm nervous. I don't know what it is about doing like a different type of video. It's just putting me on edge. Hopefully this goes okay but yeah I wanted to celebrate 20,000 subscribers and obviously I've had a bit of um, stress around this because we are nearly uh, we're nearly at 23, I think now. So I've already put this off for a little bit, like, because I don't really want to do it, but then I'm like, no, I should do it. <laughs> People seem to like me though. So let's just like do the Q and A. Hopefully it goes like, hey, I'm stressed though. I asked on Instagram for questions and I also asked on my Patreon for questions. So I'm going to like dibble dabble on both. We're going to jump back and forth. I'll start with a Patreon question. I've actually read the Patreon questions. They made me feel a lot better. So thank you patrons for being nice to me. Okay, so I'm gonna start with Michael's question because it relates to what's happening in my life currently, but he said on your recent move. So if you don't know, okay, if you're watching my videos, you didn't notice I am filming in a new room. <laughs> yeah, this is a whole different state I'm currently in. So I was living in Victoria in Melbourne, recently moved to South Australia which is just one state over from the other. I'm not too far from home. But yeah, I'm in South Australia now in Adelaide. What is the reason for your move? I moved to study, always. Studying is my favorite thing ever. I don't even want to tell you how many degrees <laughs> I'll probably end up doing. I hope in the long term I can just be like an academic or just a researcher or just continue to study forever because it's like my favorite thing ever. And if it's schooling, what are you studying? I'm studying psychology. And he also asked about my thoughts on Fiona Apple. With Fiona Apple, no, I have not listened to When the Porn, but I do like her. I've listened to her most recent album. I've listened to the Wheeler album. I'm going to put the photos up. I can't remember the name of them, but I own this one. I own this one on record, and I also love this album. Maybe in the future, maybe I'll listen to a bit of Fiona Apple on this channel because I definitely have not got around to everything. So, yeah. So, I really like this one. Someone asked, any artists or bands you could recommend to us from different genres you like. This is something that's really interesting because like I will get recommended to listen to stuff and my response will be, I love that band. Like <laughs> I've loved that band since forever. Like a lot of people have recommended me to listen to Radiohead for instance and Radiohead is my favorite band of all time. So definitely Radiohead I would recommend if you haven't listened to them but I feel like everybody probably has. Um, I also get recommended to listen to Led Zeppelin a lot and I love Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin is my dad's favorite band of all time. My dad pops up on my other channel a lot. Um, he's like the star over on my other channel that I have. Um, we have a lot of videos together and yeah, he loves Led Zeppelin. So, and I feel like from different genres, like outside of rock, I really love um, like Erica Badu and D'Angelo. They're like two of my favorite neo soul artists. I really love Daft Punk and Aphex Twin when it comes to like electronic music. Hip hop, I really like Freddie Gibbs, Kendrick Lamar. Who else do I love? Oh, Tyler the Creator. Oh, I love a tribe called Quest. Whoa, the birds are loud today. Whoa, we're gonna have some bird action in the background. And then also I like jazz music a lot. Um, my favorite artists in jazz are like Dave Brubeck, Miles Davis, and then also I listen to a lot of Japanese ambient music while I study and stuff and while I'm just like chilling out, but I can't really recommend because I just sort of dive into like whatever. Like I just let myself be taken down rabbit holes of Japanese ambient music, but I recommend the genre as a whole. Turn on the bright lights, Rush of Blood to the Head, I Never Learn by Lucky Lee, In the Core of the Crimson King. Cure We Not Men, A We Are Devo, Robot Stop by King Gizzard, I love that album. Charlie XCX's How I'm Feeling Now. Yeah, that's just like a range of the my favorite albums. Do you have any musical aspirations beyond review and reactions? Yeah, that's an interesting one because <laughs> I love the idea of playing music and writing music and being in a band. Like that sounds fun, but I just don't think I'm that talented. <laughs> My dad's hugely musical, like he is a whiz at guitar, he was in a bunch of bands growing up. Um, and I played piano growing up, like I can play pr piano pretty well, I can read sheet music, I can play stuff by ear a little bit, I'm a bit rusty. Um, and I know a bit of bass, I can sort of play the guitar like slightly. Like, just because I'm musical in general, like, because of my dad, I think, because of learning piano growing up. But, yeah, I would like to make music and 
play more music. I love the drums as well. I tried to learn the drums last year a bit and I really enjoyed it. But I am happy doing what I'm doing right now. I'm happy with just like the reactions and listening to music. That brings me so much joy already. If it goes past that, so be it. I wouldn't be like opposed to it, but I also am super happy with just doing this for the foreseeable future, essentially. I don't really have like any specific goals. What genre or subgenre are you most excited to explore? I think I was most excited to explore metal, for sure, obviously. But now I feel like I've listened to a lot of metal on this channel, like majority of the albums um, and artists I've been listening to are within the metal sphere. And I think I'm excited to sort of branch out of that a little bit. I think the two I'm mostly excited about are prog metal because I'm really enjoying Tool. And I think the other one that I've heard a lot about is Dream Theater. Apparently they're really good. And this all just seems to fall within the prog metal sphere. And I just like how um, experimental and different it feels, but still sort of similar to metal. It's, um, I feel like it's up my alley. And then I also am really excited to explore, like, the hip-hop stuff. Like, I think since posting the Wu-Tang Clan video, like, I just really want to dive into more classic hip-hop that I haven't listened to yet. What was the first album you ever bought or owned? Well, okay, so I think the first album I was given and that I, like, owned myself were, like, the So Fresh CDs growing up, which are, like, these Australian compilation albums of the best pop music or whatever like the most popular pop music and that's how I found like songs like uh tribute by Tenacious D like there'd be like these random rock songs on there that was sort of popular that year like right at the end of the record and I was like wait I love tribute by Tenacious D and I used to like have so much fun with that song with me and my sister but then outside of that like um if I'm thinking about albums like the first album I ever owned was an album given to me by my friend who was around the same age as me we were like six or seven and he gave me a copy of Demon Days by Gorillaz. I really enjoyed that album. I loved that album a lot. And then also the first album I bought or that I, I owned myself that wasn't like given to me was Love Angel Music Baby by Gwen Stefani. That's like my favorite pop album ever. I love that album. If you could live anywhere in the world for a year, where would it be? I'm pretty happy in Australia. I'm not going to lie. I like to travel, but if I travel for more than... A certain amount of time I start to go crazy and I need home so I'm not gonna say somewhere different from Australia and I've left home for a year and I didn't go very far for a reason I have a lot back home that I love and that I don't want to be too far away from have you ever listened to the doors you should react I have listened to the doors <laughs> doors is another artist that I have already sort of gotten most of my listening out of I, I don't know if I've listened to everything they've put out but I've definitely listened to their most popular songs like every single one of them because my aunties and my mum are obsessed with the doors well they were we don't really listen to them anymore but like back in the day i remember like we had a big party and we just danced the doors for like an hour straight so yeah i've listened to a bunch of the doors <laughs> favorite song on 36 chambers i think did i not say it in the video but i think my favorite song is gonna be seven seventh chamber and also method man i really liked method man a lot what is your career yeah what is my career i mean i'm a student also i do youtube sort of i don't know i don't like to think of youtube as like this thing i do <laughs> like as a job but i would say it's like a pretty intensive hobby what's the best concert you've been to what made it stand out the best concert i've ever been to was radiohead i flew across the world to see them i saw them in america because they have not visited australia in a long time so i went for the moonshape pool tour and i saw them live in san francisco at the greek theater i think that's what it was called um in 2007 2017 april 2017 um and yeah it was the best concert i've ever seen by far i sat in the rain for like two or three hours before we got in so we got right at the front so i could see everything because i am super short no one asked me about my height so you still won't know about my height <laughs> but i am short and so at concerts i struggled to see I was actually able to see this night it was amazing um and i had the best time i cried like five or six times they played all i need and it wasn't for sure that they were going to play all i need um, and all i need is my favorite song ever like ever my top number one favorite song ever is all i need by radiohead so when they i, I heard the first chord of the strings johnny greenwood strings and i just started bowling and i was like they're playing all i need it's my song <laughs> and i was so so happy artist bands you want to see live I have seen 
pretty much every artist or band I want to see live already. I don't see many bands live. I don't really like live music and that's a whole other thing. I don't really want to get into it, but every band that I like enough, I will make an effort to see them. So I've seen all my favorite bands live pretty much. So I've seen King Gizzard live. I've seen Radiohead, Interpol, Queens of the Stone Age, um, Idols. What's the other one I've seen? I forgot one. Tame Impala. Charlie XCX I saw recently. She's like my favorite pop artist at the moment. And yeah, it's like, I don't really need to see anybody else because I don't like anybody else as much as I like those artists at the moment. And no one else is really touring enough for me to be like, I want to go see them. I mean, maybe Likey Lee. I would say that maybe that's the only artist that I currently love that I haven't seen live yet. So Likey Lee. There you go. I do have an answer to that one. And favorite dish. Um, my favorite dish is pancakes. My favorite food is pancakes by far. Have you ever been recognized in public for being a YouTuber? No. And the day I am recognized is the day where I say I am a YouTuber. I don't identify with the term YouTuber yet. <laughs> I know who I am and I know I'm not that cool. <laughs> so if anyone is coming up to be like, oh my god, hi, I'd be like, bro, what? <laughs> if you played in a band, what would you like it to sound like? I definitely would want to play in a band that sounds like Interpol, for sure. Like I want to play bass. I sort of half can play it, but I sort of can't play it. But every time I try and start to learn bass, I start with like Interpol songs and I learn like PDA or Evil or Obstacle One. And then I give up after a few days after I've learned one song. I'm like, okay, what what now? I learn a song. What do I do? What is the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? Let me look that up. 24 miles per hour or 11 meters per second? I couldn't understand 24 miles per hour because I don't know what miles, like, I don't know what a mile is. 20 meters per sec, that's so quick. Damn. How's the life going? It's going okay. I think moving states, it's tough for anyone. I am introverted, so I'm not completely opposed to spending less time with family and friends, but I also miss them dearly. But it is good. I'm trying to see this as an opportunity to spend more time with myself. Like, you know, be my own best friend sort of thing. I'm trying to do that. It sort of sucks and I hate it. But I think in the long run, I'll be a better person. And also I've started studying and I love studying. So that will keep me company. And I do have a few friends here as well. And I can make new friends. Ugh. Would you ever consider reacting to my band's song, I Promise We're Decent? Like, I'm sure your band is decent. It's not that I don't think your band is decent. That, that's the whole thing. Like, I have so many recommendations and I don't make that much content, right? I literally listen to one album a week. So it's really hard for me to be like, yeah, I'll react to your band because then it's like, I got to say yes to everybody. I'm going to start feeling bad. So I feel like I have to have a really strict line of like, I am listening to like this journey, like this journey that I'm creating with certain genres. And I'm listening to specific classics within that genre that are getting voted on by my patrons because I don't want to start picking and choosing because I don't want to make people feel bad. I would like to say I'd like to listen to your band eventually. I don't know what's down the road if I'm going to do like live shows or if I'll do more reactions, if I'll have more time. I have no idea what's going to happen, but I would say at this point, no, unfortunately I cannot. <laughs> what do you want people to know about Australia who are not from there? Vegemite is good. Vegemite is yum. You're eating Vegemite the wrong way. <laughs> when I used to go over to America, people would like trying Vegemite in front of me and then they were just like eating it off the spoon or like lathering it on a piece of bread, like literal like one centimeter thick Vegemite on top. That's not how you're meant to do it. You're meant to toast your bread. And when I show this to actual, like when I show this to Americans, they ended up liking it. You just have to make it the right way. So you have to toast the bread golden put some butter or margarine on it, let it melt, then you put a scrape of Vegemite, like literally a scrape, and that's how you're meant to have Vegemite, everybody. Hi Kira, congrats on the move. Thank you, Victor. Will you be doing a reaction to Louder Than Bombs? That's a good, yeah, I could do a reaction to Louder Than Bombs. I've never actually listened to it. That's a good one, Victor. You're, yes, you're a smart dude. The Smiths is also one of my favorite bands of all time. I totally forgot to mention all the new wave I love. I love The Smiths, The Cure, Joy Division, Talking Heads. I didn't mention Devo. Um, B-52s. I love all these bands. And yeah, Smiths is my favorite one by far. Victor bought me Louder Than Bombs like a while ago now. It was the only record by The Smiths that I didn't own yet on vinyl. So I really wanted to have it. And he got me this amazing copy of it. This amazing original copy, I think. And it's definitely an album I could react to. It's Is it a live or a compilation? I'm not sure. But I'll look into that, Victor. That's a good idea. P-Funk says, what's your favorite dinosaur? It is by far a pterodactyl. That is my favorite dinosaur because when I go to the museum 
and I see all the dinosaur bones. You see the giant pterodactyl hanging from the ceiling. It's just the coolest thing. I think it looks cooler than all the rest of them put together. It's like above you. It's so cool. And you can just see how massive the wingspan is. It's just, ugh. Pterodactyls are so cool. I'm not even a dinosaur person. I don't know what's going on. Someone asked Master of Puppets question mark. And yeah, Master of Puppets exclamation mark from me. I do agree. It's coming. I think it's the next video after this one, actually. So get excited. Master of Puppets is coming. Do you have any pets? Are you a cat or dog person? Lol. See one shine. Nice to see you sending me a question. I hope you're well. Used to be a cat person growing up. Then a cat scratched me. And also I started getting allergic to them. So I decided not to be a cat person anymore. I became a dog person. And then we had a dog growing up that I loved to death, like a family dog. He was my favorite. His name was Ziggy. I think I've mentioned Ziggy in past videos, but he was this golden Labrador, super chunky and beautiful. Huge dog person since Ziggy. I will never not be a dog person now, but I currently do live with a cat here in South Australia. My housemate has a cat and I have not sneezed once. So I don't know if my allergies have disappeared or if this cat's a magical cat. It is a black cat, so it could be a witch's cat, who knows. Can you talk a bit about Dear Old Dad's band? Yeah, so my Dear Old Dad's band is called the Ton Up Pirates. That was like the main band he was in, that he was in in his 20s. He was the lead guitarist in it. I think he's always the lead guitarist in any band he's in because that's what he does. He's the guitar solo dude, I love it. I literally travel around Australia with him and even when he dropped me off in, a, in Adelaide, uh, which is, he he's the one that drove me over from Melbourne. He was like, oh, you know, I came here 26 years ago when I played a couple of gigs and that's the reason I came. He played gigs everywhere and anywhere. Like any like random classic Australian music venue that's like a small local thing on the corner, like he's played at it. It, just, it seems like that at least. And yeah, that, he, he's shown me like 20 different venues now that he's played at. So yeah, he used to play a lot and he has a poster of the band up in his house and it's really really cute i love that he has that up still 30 years later so yeah that's a little bit more about my dad's band that he used to be in how has your personal life influenced the music that you listen to that's such a good question that's a really good question because i think all of us as music fans and music lovers know that we love music because it really connects us to our emotions and to our experiences music is very nostalgic like i listen to music to either create new memories or to remember old memories. I use music to like heal, think and reflect. I use music to cry and to smile and to laugh. I use music for like every emotion ever. It's like my greatest friend that I have had <laughs> that has stuck with me through like the good and bad times. I've always had it there as something that can console me, make me feel better. It really is apart from me myself, like the Fred throughout my life, like the main Fred. And I could never see music not being a big part of my life. I freaking adore music. So yeah, my personal experiences, my real life heavily influences the music I, I dive into. When I do like this music on this channel, like I react to music, metal becomes like a part of my life. It becomes a part of like, oh, when I was like 25 to 26, I was listening to this band. It already reminds me when I listen to certain metal songs of like certain times in my life from a year or two years ago. Yeah, it heavily influences what I listen to, man. We all know that. Yeah, we know that. We'll go with Stevie Licious here. What music did you grow up listening to? Gwen Stefani and Gorillaz and So Fresh CDs, but I then dived into like The Hives and Kaiser Chiefs. That's how I first got into rock music. Um, these are like easier rock bands to listen to, um, not proper rock and roll, but sort of rocky. And then from there I got into the Smiths and uh, Interpol and Radiohead and all that stuff in my in my teen years, yeah. I've answered all these questions already. No, no one has told me they look like Riff Randall from rock and roll high school. Don't tell me I look like a dude. Oh, Riff Randall's a girl. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> I thought Riff was a- I thought Riff was a guy's name. Okay, yeah, I sort of do look like her. I got the same, like, hair. Like, the buffy hair. I get it. Have you ever seen Rock and Roll High School? No, I have not. Clearly, I didn't know who Riff Randall was. Have you accepted Ronnie James Dio as your lord and savior? That's a hard one. I love Ozzy so much. Like, I feel like Ozzy's my god. But then Dio literally means god. So... It's in his name. I can't, I can't avoid that. Maybe, maybe Dio is my god. Why does everybody keep asking me how fast things are? I don't understand. And I don't know where you left your keys, Steve. Hello, Aiden. How are you? Where does your name come from? So Kira was a reactor is a play on Kira was a diver. Kira was a diver is from Stella was a diver. And Stella was a diver is an Interpol song. I hope that made sense. Where did you come from? 
I'm originally from Australia. Yeah, I was born in Australia. What are you? I'm a human. Or am I? Oh, another one. I'd miss this one. What country do you really want to visit and why? I really want to visit Europe. I've never been and I definitely need to go. And I'm going to South Korea later this year. And I'm really, really excited. So yeah. I don't know. I don't travel heaps, but yeah, Europe, man. So yeah, that is my first Q&A. Probably my only ever Q&A, at least for a little bit. I don't know. We'll see how we go. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and learning more about me, the person behind the face. Gotta listen to Rust in Peace soon. I know. I hear you guys. Rust in Peace. Motorhead is coming soon. Metallica is coming soon. Next few weeks. We'll see you then. All right. Bye-bye.